Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amudan Saktivel. In this video, we're going to see about how we can use predicate interface with one another use case, right? Previously, we have seen how we can use the predicate interface to find the sum of list of integers. And now in this particular use case, we're going to see how we can click a web element from a list of elements, right? This is a normal use case that we commonly see across all the Selenium and uh, mobile automation frameworks, right? So we'll, we'll try to do that in this particular video without wasting much time. So the intention is, if there are a list of web elements, I want to click on one web element that is matching the uh, text with what I'm passing, right? That's, that's the use case and we're going to solve it soon. Good. So let's open the IntelliJ. And now if you notice to save some time, I have already written the code to open Amazon site. And I'm also maximizing the window. And I'm also finding all the elements. So find elements is a method that's used to find all the elements matching this particular X path. If I go to the Amazon site, the particular X path is actually finding me all the header menus, right? Best sellers, mobiles, fashion, electronics, all these menus, right? They all can be find with same X path like this, okay? Good. This is a very simple use case. Now I want to click on mobiles, okay, from this list of web elements, okay. Instead of creating uh, 29 elements, there are 29 elements. I don't want to create 29 elements in my page class, okay. It, it causes a lot of verbosity, right. If, if I can just store all of them in a list of web elements, okay, you are saving a lot of time and space, right. So we are saving it in a list of web elements and I want to click only one of them when, you know, where the text is matching the text what I'm passing. So in my case, I want to click on mobiles. Let's assume I want to click on mobiles, okay. So this is a elements right i have so i i use uh, click um, an element uh, matching text okay this is a method that we normally create and let me pass the elements as well as the text so this is the text that i want to pass let's let's create this utility method that we normally create in our page class or your base base pages right maybe i can rename this as menu item okay because it's one of the menu item available in the list right Good. So what we normally do, this is our conventional way of writing the code, right? So we write run a for loop. Okay, maybe I use a for loop and I iterate till element start size and I get the text out of it. Okay. And I'm going to compare whether this text is matching with menu item. If that is the case, I want to click on that particular element. Okay. So this is what I want to do. Once this is done, I don't want to continue further. I want to break the loop. So this is a normal way of doing things, right? So let's see whether it is clicking the mobiles. That's that's you know first thing that we want to test. Right? This is a conversion way of doing things. We'll also see how we can optimize this using Java 8. So yeah, it's it's clicked on mobiles, and if you notice, the mobile section is also getting displayed here. Good, so it's working absolutely fine. But there is little verbosity that we can avoid, and we can also make this as a generic one. Okay, we are now matching the text. Okay, what if I want to check for an href attribute? I want to match for a href attribute, and I want to validate it. Okay, what if I want to validate whether the tag name is this, and then I want to validate something else? Okay, instead of just text. I want to validate something else. Okay, there are a lot of attributes available here, right? So maybe I want to validate whether the data uh, hyphen CSA hyphen C content ID is equal to this particular value. Then I want to click on it because that's the only unique thing that is there, right? Maybe in this case, the text is unique, but you know, for some reason, I want to use some other things. How can I optimize this? In a, in a conventional way, there is no other go. You have to create one more method and then you have to do it. First, let's try to solve the first test case using uh, streams and predicate interface. And what I'm going to do, one of the elements that they are passing, I want to create a stream and I want to convert this into a parallel stream. Parallel stream is something that if you have 10 elements and you have a six core uh, you know, processors, no, it will it'll, it'll process all these things in parallel. So instead of for loop, this, this passes it very fastly, right? So your parallel gets in kicks in and then, you know, if you have a very good machine, you know, it, it you know, solves a lot of uh, time issues, right? And once I open a parallel stream, what I basically want to do, I want to filter out. So this is a predicate that is of your interest, right? It checks in a web element, if you notice. So 
whatever the web element they are giving i want to get the text out of it and i want to check whether it is matching the menu item if that is the case i want to do i want to basically you know do a find first i can also find if there are multiple things matching it i want to get the first one and i want to you know uh, if it is present okay i want to find the first one so what is this case so if there are many if there are many i want to find the first one okay this is the thing okay and there is something called as find any method if there are many things it will find ra random one among it but for now our use case we want to find the first one and what do you want to do i want to click on it if not i i want to you know ignore it okay click if present ignore if it is not present that's the use case and if the, it is present i want to click on that particular web element so this is how easy it is right so let's try to check you know whether it is working uh, before we continue to optimize this right let's try to run the test i mean guys the if present method is is your consumer interface implementation we have already seen about that so it's clicked on mobiles it is also getting passed so this is a consumer interface in implementation right instead of uh, writing a lambda like this i am basically using a method reference right yeah so we can also use like this this is a easy way right suppose if the element is not present i want to throw an exception in those cases right we can basically use okay uh, find first try to find it if not or else throw a new exception okay in my case i want to throw new runtime exception that i want element with the name with the text a um, menu item uh, not present something like this some some customized error message i want to print i can even do that okay but basically we didn't click it right so basically it'll try to find the web element and it'll get give me back the element okay so element dot click so we are we are introducing a new local variable so it'll try to find the first element okay if it is if it is not present it will throw this exception if it is present it will return this uh, you know uh, element web element uh, reference and we can click on that particular web element after that so this is useful if you want to throw an exception again if you guys notice this is supply interface implementation and this is, will be only built you know if there is a failure it's, it's lazily evaluated right again if you guys don't understand what i'm speaking now you have to go back to some previous videos where i have explained about what is supplier interface or what is lazy evaluation and all of the stuff good so let's try to run it and then see whether it is working fine obviously it will work fine maybe if you want to optimize this further we can also do that okay so it it's also click this right so this is what we want to achieve again guys here we have used to get text right suppose i don't want to use a get text then i want to use something else in those cases i know it becomes really complex right? i don't have to create one more rather what i want to do i will pass the predicate itself instead of this okay i'll pass a predicate itself so maybe i can name it as condition okay? because this is a condition right so i can remove this completely and i can change like this here i want to pass a predicate so here i can actually inform e dot uh, get text dot equals ignore case i want to check whether it is equals to mobiles then i want to click on it the next time i want to use a different attribute in those cases you know i don't want to get the text i want to basically uh, do a get attribute i want to get the href attribute and i want to check whether it is equals ignore case of some other value not mobiles but yeah some other value then i want to do it so maybe i can customize this error message uh, the element uh, not present uh, something like this uh, with the past conditions whatever okay some common uh, exception you can throw it so now instead of creating multiple methods i am handling everything with the help of predicate itself from here okay so if it is it's it's not just using text okay maybe i can uh, 
matching property i can rename it in a better way okay so maybe i can change it to property It's the same thing i can maybe you can use a text property or you can use a attribute okay whatever okay but 